Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Leather Standard by Ecotex, instilling confidence in the world's most widely traded commodity. My name is Linda Wigelin and I'm the Market Development Manager at Testex, one of the 18 institutes forming the Ecotex Association. I will be your moderator for today. Before we begin today's webinar, I just want to review a few technical and administrative issues. If you're experiencing problems hearing me, please consider dialing in to the webinar using the local phone numbers. You can find both in your registration email and the audio section of your GoToMeeting control panel. All participants will be muted during the course of this webinar. If you have questions, please type this into the chat box of your GoToMeeting control panel. We've reserved some time at the end of the webinar to address as many questions as possible. Should we not get around to answering all during this webinar, or if they are more specific, we will be happy to respond to these via email. Today's webinar will demonstrate how the leather standard provides you with both the assurance and an effective marketing tool, verifying that leather goods you are selling are free of harmful substances and in doing so, instilling confidence in your products. Today's, webin today's presenter is Helene Milnitsky. Helene is a head of the Ecology Department at the Austrian Institute for Ecology, Technology and Innovation, ÖTI. ÖTI is one of the founding institutes of the Ecotex Association. Helene holds a degree in textile chemistry and can look back on over 20 years of experience at ÖTI. She has also been one of the brains and minds behind the creation of the leather standard, so it's with great pleasure that I now hand over to today's presenter, Helene Milnitsky. First of all, I want to give you a short overview of the updated Ökotex portfolio. As you can see on the slide, Ökotex covers the whole textile and textile related industries such like uh, accessory production, as well as the later processes from the input of the chemicals with Eco Passport to the production itself with STEP, the sustainable textile production, and detox to zero, which is not a certification, it's just a comprehensive verification with a status report for those companies signed the detox campaign. Furthermore, we have the MySTEP database, which is a, a database for managing the supply chain, as well as the output with the products with standard 100 by Ecotex, made in green, this is transparent textile label and leather standard by Ecotex. Ecotex is worldwide with 18 institutes represented in more than 60 countries. Until now, we have more than 10,000 companies working with us for the standard 100. Overall, we have issued about 160,000 certificates until now. We have 25 years of experience in testing and certification of textile and textile related goods. And to enlarge our knowledge, Ökotex has extended this group with two more institutes which are specialized in leather. So why now leather certification and what is standing behind this? So first of all, not only the demand of leather goods is growing worldwide, but also the demand for so-called safe products is consequently growing in Europe. At the moment, there is no comparable certification system on the market for a third party certification. The production of leather 
is totally different from the production of textile. So this does not only include the raw material, but also um, the chemistry standing behind this. Customers' expectations are not only to have leather with a long durability or longevity, but also the proof that there are no harmful substances in the products. So that means it fulfills also the consumer expectations regarding these issues. And the challenge is of using that we have natural materials which needs chemistry because without chemicals the production of leather is impossible. Leather must be treated in order to have products which fit for the consumer markets. Legal requirements are different all over the world. So that it is therefore it is very hard for the production facilities but also retailers and brands to have here an overview. It was already, as you know, possible to certify leather according to the standard 100 by Ecotex, but only a few could fulfill textile requirements. So what is the reason behind this? Because leather is totally different in the raw material and uh, chemistry as textile production. And that is the reason why Ecotex um, made this leather standard. And what is the leather standard by Ecotex? So Ecotex decided to use already established systems for textile, which works now already for 25 years. The standard 100 by Ecotex, a space for the leather standard. The standard is an independent testing and certification systems for leather articles in all level of production. That means from the treated skin up to the ready-made product. The structure of this uh, leather standard is equal to the standard 100 that we have on first hand the testing and certification of products so it's always related to the product and not to the production facility itself. And we have also these four product classes. That means we have product class one for articles up to three years, so baby articles. We have product class two, which is the product with direct contact to skin, class three without direct contact to skin, and class four for decoration materials. Here you can see some examples which are related to these product classes. And this is necessary because there must be different requirements if you have either a baby shoe or if we are talking about, uh, for instance, a leather belt. Uh, here on the screenshot, uh, you see a screenshot of our limit value table. So uh, for today, I will not show you the whole limit value table. And uh, it's just to see here, as you can see, we have different limit values uh, for the product classes. Like I explained already, uh, this is due to the use of the product necessary. But, and this is uh, for most of you from um, interest is, but how are these parameters defined and how are the limit values set by Ecotex? And therefore we will have um, a little bit a deeper look in the criteria itself, uh, how it was done. So first of all, we have, um, or we, in fact, we have four categories of criteria within the standard. 
So we have on one hand uh, the legally banned and controlled substances such as uh, forbidden dye stuffs, chromium-6, short-chain chlorinated paraffin, dimethylformarat, or etc. So those are already uh, stated in legal uh, requirements. The second category is are substances which may be harmful to health. And here we are talking uh, of preservative agents, chlorinated phenols, or solvent residues. So those are not, <clears throat> or not all of them are restricted at the moment, but um, they could cause any harmful to health. Then we have the parameters for maintaining good health. So what does it mean? We are talking here about emission testing, pH value, color fastness. So they are not related directly to harmful, but um, when wearing leather goods, also people want to have a good color fastness. They also want a pH value, which is in a skin neutral way but also emissions, so when we are talking here about the decorative material, um, no emission should be, uh, the emission should be lowered down in um, the indoor air. And then we have the fourth category, which are the biologically active and frame retardant substances. Uh, here we have special regulations within um, the Ecotex Association and um, there is that there are only accepted products are allowed to be used for the certification of leather goods and all these uh, products can be found on our web page www.ecotex.com. The limit values have been set according to our knowledge in testing, legal requirements, and uh, but also with contact to the leather industry. The test criteria and the limit values are going in many cases far beyond the applicable national or international standards. Furthermore, also relevant requirements of the NX 17 and 14 of the REACH regulation, also the ECHA, the SVHC list, so the candidate list, are fulfilled and all, and this is also mentioned on the certificate. Furthermore, also requirements from um, the US regarding uh, LED are also fulfilled, which is also mentioned on the certificate itself. Here I want to give you one example where Ecotex has implemented also specific leather parameters different to the standard 100. Chromium, so chromium is, as most of the leather is tanned with chromium, this is one of the most critical parameters. As you can see on the slide, the limit value for class 1 and 2 to 4 is uh, quite different. So we have decided for baby products Ecotex will still be on a very strong site. For the cancerogenic chromium-6, Ecotex tests before and after a heat aging. So like this we have the simulation if the present chromium-6 is oxidized to chromium uh, chromium-3 is oxidized to chromium-6 uh, in the period of wearing the leather goods. When you will read the limit value table, you might wonder why testing um, is also listed, for instance, for this bus dyes at the moment. Well, Ecotex has decided to leave these parameters also in the limit value table for leather, as we have nowadays so many combinations with leather and textile or coated leather. And uh, so we want, wanted to keep all 
these parameters also in the limit value table. It means that in case of such a combination, the institute will do some testing, uh, but it is not necessarily done. And to complete limit values, you can the complete one you can find in the standard in the annex. And the standard is available on our website. And the limit values and also the parameters are really updated uh, from Ecotex. Here I want to give you also an overview of examples of articles that can be certified. So we have on one hand, as I told already, that we start in the beginning. So we have here the semi-finished letter when we're talking about wet blue, wet white, etc. We have finished leather, but also leather fiber material and all the ready-made articles like shoes, leather gloves, and all sort of types of garments. But as there are not only 100% leather articles on the market, uh, I want to give you also an overview how it works when we have combination with other uh, materials. So here you can see some examples of products where, which are suitable for leather standard certification. Which is, for instance, the label of, of these jeans. And then we have also here articles which are so-called borderline articles. That means we have a combination of textile and leather and it might be, uh, especially when we are talking here, leather or so-called borderline articles where we have more or less leather and textile um, in, in the same ratio. So we have all these parts need to fulfill the requirements then of the leather standard for the leather parts and for the standard 100 for the textile parts or and accessories. And in this case, when we have really a very equal um, weight of uh, textile and leather or from the surface, then the institute will decide with you as the company according to which standard it should be certified. So this is especially when you look here at these products like this uh, gloves, the, the black ones, or also these jackets. So here we don't have, it must be leather or textile, so in this case it has to be chosen with uh, the company. But now is not, how is now the process for certification? So first of all, the company has to fulfill an application form. In this application form, it is um, necessary for the institute to get information about the material itself, so where it is coming from, in which uh, stage the certification has to be done, but also uh, if there are any already standard 100 or letter standard materials used for the Dutch and uh, a detailed list of all the used chemistry, so that means dye stuffs, auxiliary chemicals, which are used for production. All this information is necessary for the Institute to give you uh, a proper estimate of the costs and to order the uh, samples which are required for the laboratory testing. So after the verification of the application due to the institute, um, the testing scope is defined and all the tests are done in the laboratory. And in case um, all 
tests are fulfilled successfully and the declaration of conformity is sent to the client for uh, signing and the certificate and the report can be issued. Is there a non-conformity uh, with some of the tests? The company has the possibility to send again new improved samples. This, what has been improved and um, um, process explanation has to be given to the institute with this and then the retesting is done. Once the certificate is issued, um, the certificate get, has a validity of one year and after one year it can be renewed again. During renewal, the license number, which you have uh, got with first renewal, will, be, uh, will remain the same uh, as long as you are working with Ecotex. The validity of the certificate does not change um, no matter if you start renewal a little bit earlier or too late. And please be sure also when given us all this information that all the information are kept secret as all Ökotex institutes are accredited institutes. Ökotex or the letter standard by Ökotex is a modular testing system to save cost and time. That means certification is done along the whole production chain. Already certified material according to letter standard or standard 100 need not to be tested again. That saves time and costs. And also the responsibility for production is at the production facilities, which makes quality assurance and quality management easier. What is not possible to do uh, is the certificate for one single material for the whole product. That means at the end, one certificate is issued and has to be issued for the whole product. So when you have a look on the slide, you can see when you <clears throat> put together your product, you have, for instance, as you can see here, a certificate, the leather already for the leather skin, and uh, you have for the sewing thread and you have uh, for interlining, there are already existing certificates. Then you might have for some parts not an Ökotex certificate, so this will be tested. and all those different parts are then coming together within the um, certificate for your uh, leather standard. But we have uh, also quality assurance but, and we have the quality insurance on both sides. We have it on first hand on the Ökotex side. So we have the yearly revision of all our parameters. So always with 1st of January, the new standard will be uh, published and the companies have then a transition period of three months to adapt um, necessary uh, changes in, in the production or to talk to their suppliers. Um, there are regular round-robin tests done with this within our institutes. There are audits at our institutes done. And we have the company with it uh, on, at our certified companies within the third sorry, first certification. And then in a three-year term to check on site uh, the information given in the application and also the quality management of the company regarding the leather standard and 
we have uh, we do some market controls by picking up samples um, marked samples labeled samples on the market to do some controlled testing which is uh, around 25 percent of issued certificates each year but also from the company side so for customers for certification it is mandatory that the applicant lies down its quality management system it must not be necessarily an ISO 9001 certification or similar but it need to be installed and provided in a short written form to the institute and this is also con checked during the site visit uh, in the during certification. As you know, with the certification, we have also, uh, you will be also provided with a logo. Uh, you see here an example um, of the logo, and if the certification is finished, the applicant will be provided by the logo. Uh, as you can see it here and um, there's also the possibility to have the uh, logo in various languages. The logo can be used for the product marking on the website, PR material, so uh, as you can, so as you decide it. Important is that the license number and the institute name is on the logo. And uh, either you, as I told already, you get it from the Institute, the logo, but there's also the possibility that you, as the company, print your own logo out of the customer uh, login site. So uh, this customer login data will be provided by the Institute to you after certification. And with the license number, and the, uh, on, as you can see here, there is also allows the validity check of on the Ecotex website, which I will show you on the next slide. In the design of the labels, the colors and uh, which colors um, has have to be taken are mentioned in the standard itself. I told you already the certificate is valid for one year and the number stays the same as well as the validity date of the certification. Yeah, with certification of uh, Ecotex and the leather standard, uh, there will be also the entry in the Ecotex buying guide that allows the companies searching for certified companies and can find you as certificate holder. So more or less we can say the Ecotex buying guide is a kind of free advertisement and I can highly recommend you to have um, an own look on the Ecotex website to see this. And also you have the possibility with your customer login data to more or less present a little bit your company with your own company logo, with brand names, and there is the link to your website. So what are now your benefits for going with uh, the leather standard biocotex? So first of all, and to summarize here your benefits, the letter standard gives you the confidence it has on the world's leading labels for your leather goods. We have <clears throat> the testing, we have a high level of product security, which are exceeding uh, legal requirements and testing and certification goes beyond this. 
You work with independent third-party institutes which have 25 years of experience in testing and certification. The standard allows a simple communication with in the B2B and B2C market. When we are, for instance, B2C market is that you have can use a label and uh, the, com the client will see he's buying a safe product. You work with a worldwide equal standard, which means communication with your supply chain is much easier. Our standard and requirements are transparent and all can be seen on our website and the standard and requirements can be downloaded there. But last not but least, main thing is the leather standard by Ökotex opens doors for new markets. With this, we are uh, on the end of this webinar and if you are, have any further questions, uh, please take the opportunity to ask directly or if some questions raise up later, please don't hesitate to contact us. And uh, I will switch now again to Linda, so if you have any questions, uh, she will host us and uh, will ask us. And I thank you for participation in this webinar and I wish you a nice remaining day. Thank you very much, Helene, for this informative presentation. Um, so let's see if we have any questions. So far there haven't been any questions raised. But um, we are recording this webinar, so um, we will also be uploading the recorded version on our website, so you can watch it back later. And should you have any questions later on, please feel free to drop me an email or also call me. And I will be happy to address the questions either directly or pass them on to the right person. But we'll just leave a few uh, moments now. If there's still some questions now, please do write them into the question box in your GoToMeeting control panel. So in that case, I think there's no open questions for now. Um, thank you everyone for joining today's webinar and thank you once again, Helena, for providing us with this insight into the leather standard. Thank you and bye.